you know, and I'll call myself out on this. I think one of the most, one of my most crucial failures, and I had a big failure in football at Green Bay, and luckily I had a second chance to. Oh, we're going to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> and and luckily I had a, a chance to make up for some of what could be made up in Indy. But I would consider one of my biggest failures is, you know, once I got divorced and the kids were young, um, not having a mom and dad in the house. Yeah. I think that's crucial. It's hard. It's I think really it's hard. crucial. I, yeah. I, I really, not that it can't be done successfully. Yes. The odds are against you. I think, you know, but, you know, and, and being an ad, like, a, you know, taking the opposite side and saying, well, if you have a, a mom and dad that are constantly fighting, that's not a good example either. Right. But I'm not going to use that as an excuse. I'm just going to say, I think it's crucial yeah. to have a father figure and a mother figure in the house, preferably, obviously, the mom and dad. Right. Um, but I failed there epically. And, and I think that's part of the reason of my relationship today with my girls, which is kind of non-existent. Yeah. And I think it's hard to Tony though, whenever you go through something like that, because one of the things I hear a lot of, you know, in divorced families or whatever, is that, you know, I deserve to be happy as a parent. I deserve these things. And I never want to tell anyone that they don't. However, you're a parent first, Yes, you know, and, and I have a lot, I coach a lot of divorced parents and they're, you know, I'm going to go do my thing. This is what's important to me. And the, and the sad thing is there's so much nuance in those conversations, yeah. content or context that we don't actually take into consideration, Yeah, you know, and we realize, and I, I literally had this conversation with a father the other day mm-hmm. and he's like, so you're saying I don't deserve to be happy and to, and to start dating and that kind of stuff. Right. And I said, Absolutely. I'm not saying that at all. I said, but there, but there, again, there's a season. I think that we have yeah. to have those conversations around yeah. that. I, I think that the thing where I see like a, a fail that can be corrected and is being corrected in circles. And I know I'm correcting in myself is I will ask people, okay, well, tell me what your definition of I deserve to be happy is. Great question. I need to know what that is. Right. Um, because what my interpretation of that is and what your interpretation of that is might be two totally different things. It usually is. And it usually is. Yes. And so when c- communicating now, I try to use the least amount of words as possible <laughs> and keep it very simple and to the point and be clear and to even repeat to them, back to them, this is what I'm hearing you say, Right. you know, I'm hearing you say you would like to do this and you would like it to look this way. Is that correct? We are seeking to understand, which correct. we forgot how to do. Right. You know, we forget how Instead to do that. Instead of assumption. Totally. Right. And I think, but I think that's the way our world's built right now yeah. with, with these wonderful devices too. Yeah. It's a whole nother, it's a whole yeah. nother ball game. 